Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of gold and silver. I'll give you my financial opinion. We'll look at the dollar, 10 year yield, and then look at the precious metals and some of the companies in the sectors. Uh, so let's dive right in. Uh, we've got the dollar here. The dollar has been getting stronger against other currencies. It is continuing to go and rip it higher. We've got a 0.65% up day to day. A uh, big picture view, you can see this big old uh, move higher. Uh, we've got the expansion phase of real estate, really 2019, 2020, somewhere in that, that range, but looks like we're taking a detour and heading higher in the DXY. Does that mean that our, our inflation commodities are going to do poorly in an increasing interest rate or an increasing dollar environment? Uh, no, it doesn't matter because we're having inflation worldwide. And the, this DXY is re, it's all relative, and with the inflation worldwide, and I've been thinking about this for a little while. It's just everywhere else is having higher inflation than here, but we're still having massive amounts of inflation. So the dollar, in absolute terms, is still continuing to decline. We've got the ten-year yield. The ten-year yield continues to go up as well. If we had this ultra strong do dollar, then why are yields going up? Why is inflation impacting? the interest rates, uh, it's because we don't have a strong dollar. It is a weaker dollar, and that's why interest rates are heading higher. Uh, we've got interest rates. This is on the daily basis here. It does look like they want to go higher. Uh, it looks kind of bullish, and we've been cycling kind of up uh, over time with these yields, and that that's, that's going to cause money to rotate from bonds over to uh, precious metals and whatnot. And here's bo the bond market. The bond market's probably rotating We've broken out. We've done a retest move to this trend line. It looks like we're breaking lower again. And we'll see if this trend continues. I'm not going to make any uh, final judgments here, but this is what it looks like on a longer time frame scale. We've got this big resistance line coming up, and we're starting to flirt with that, uh, the support resistance line. And we've broken through it, the support, and now it's resistance as we're coming back up. And I think we're going to head lower in bonds. And what that means is that money's rotating out of bonds. And most likely going to head somewhere. And that somewhere is my guess is commodities. And we can see commodities starting to take off again. Uh, we had this breakout retest and now we're starting to head higher again. So that's that's good from a commodity standpoint for the uh, Thomson Reuters commodity CRB index. Uh, and this thing's been on a tear. Now, I'm not claiming that this is just going to go straight up the entire time. We could have a pullback at some point where we rest. But the trend is this. And that and this trend is coming from the real estate market of, of loans against new homes. And I know a lot of people are speculating and they're scared because the interest rates have gone up a lot, but the imbalance still exists. And I'm waiting to see through the inventory numbers and the you know the active listing counts what impact that's going to have on housing. So and, and you know the housing starts and active listings. Gold itself. Remember, we are really early to this game. This is still early. We've got a full retest move here. So we, we've broken out of this little pattern here. We've come all the way back to this uh, retest type movement. The question is, what are you going to do with this move? Is it a buy or not? And, and it depends. We could even come back for the full retest of this breakout here where we broke out, came back, and then... We may come down to 18, 9, you know, 18, 15, 18, 20. That'd be a full retest move of the bigger picture move. And if we get that, I am buying, baby. Give it to me. Uh, silver, silver still pulling back uh, as well. I like silver. And we could come all the way back to 22 something. If that gets down there, yes, I like it. And platinum, you know my opinion on platinum. Uh, I like it right where it's at and anywhere below. I mean, this is a fantastic opportunity for physical metals. Uh, XAU to gold ratio looks like it's trying to firm up today. Uh, again, this one looks good from a long-term perspective. We are very low with the gold and silver miners being very low in relationship to gold. It was in, It is improving. We still have higher lows. The trend is still intact to break this. We just got a better buying opportunity here. Uh, Corora Resources, let's go on the daily. This thing is still pulling back. It looks like it's slowing down its momentum. We'll have to see over the next few days 
if this thing turns around. Uh, EXK, another one that's been heading lower. It's back inside the pattern. And we're getting to levels where I'm seriously thinking about adding in some, some money here. Uh, FSM, that's also pulling back. Again, they're all they're all pulling back. I mean, that's kind of obvious here. But here's the downtrend line. We could pull back even further. Uh, SILJ, still pulling back. GDX is still pulling back. Again, we've got these big patterns. We've broken out. We could do this final retest move before I move on up. And remember, we are still early. Why do I keep saying we're still early? What does that mean? It means that we just went into an expansion phase of real estate. That is where money typically rotates into these things is where it starts. It, it takes maybe say 18 months to 24 months for the juices to get flowing into the system for that inflation to be felt. The inflation is coming through the system. Now we just have to have people believe that the, the participants in the system, that this inflation is going to be sustaining. Then the money's going to rotate over into this stuff massively. I think it's coming. We've got the patterns that support that it's coming and that it's about to happen at any time. So uh, I am deploying more money into these areas uh, slowly. I'm cost averaging into these areas. Uh, this is a, the, the, the smaller guys, they could be a lot more volatile. And they may take a little bit more time to develop versus some of the larger companies. And these are the small guys. These are the small guys bouncing all around. That's Koya Resources. Discovery still, it's still selling off. But you know what? Uh, I like it down here, guys. I'm 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 gonna be doing some things. Perhaps I, I got to think about what I want to where I want to deploy money. Uh, First, majestic silver pulling on back. It's still above its downtrend line. We'll see if it actually hits the the full retest. Newmont looks like it's trying to find some support right where it's at. That's why you're contracting in the opening and closing prices right on its right above its support line. Mag silver, it's starting to contract a little bit. We'll see what happens. I, I'm not going to call this a bottom yet. Uh, Yamana Gold still coming back down. It's slowing its momentum, but again, I want to see a reversal. Uh, Impact Silver still heading lower. It has broken out of its trend line. This could head a little bit lower, maybe perhaps down to, you know, 20 cents. Uh, Aftermath Silver heading lower. Uh, that has broken to the downside. We'll see where that thing ends up. Arcana Gold still heading lower. We are getting to this long term support line. And if you're if you're brave, that would be the spot to be looking is that long-term support. Uh, PLG still heading a little bit lower. Uh, Sibinye Stillwater heading a little bit lower today. We have not found, I don't, I don't see reversal patterns yet in a lot of these. Uh, Sandstorm Gold, another one that looks like it's doing almost a full retest here on this breakout. I've got a bunch of lines going across. I'll delete these lines out here. But there we are doing the, the full retest almost. Uh, Franco Nevada still heading a little bit lower. I'm going to get really excited if we get down here uh, to 140s. EMX just flat today. Uh, we've got Tootin Resources that was basically flat. Uh, we've got Wheaton Precious Metals, another one that's slowing its momentum. But again, I want to get a full retest here. And, you know, I'll, I'll be very interested in a lot of these companies. Gold Royalty is heading lower. That doesn't look too hot there. Um, Metalla Royalty is heading lower here. We've broken through this support line. We could do a little bit larger detour here, guys. We could come down and this this here looks like a topping pattern there, but we it looks like we were coming through and ready to break. Maybe this is just the last phase before we move higher of, of the ABC correction in an Elliott wave. We've got Mavericks Metals, another one that's right at support inside the pattern. Uh, Royal Gold heading a little bit lower today. And then we've got a Cisco Gold Royalty heading lower. It's broken back inside of its pattern. Uh, maybe we can come back and touch this guy again uh, for another really good buying opportunity. Uh, I still think that overall that the inflation thesis is every all that stuff is, is good. It's all intact. So we just got to wait for these things to go. And this is the this is the sector that lags the most. Uh, energy kind of leads, then this comes behind it. Uh, but I'm still holding a, across all these different sectors. Um, that's the way that I'm playing it. Uh, I've got a very heavily in energy. I'm very heavy energy. I like the physical metals quite a bit. I'm going to buy a lot of physical metals when they're down. That's just what I do uh, to balance my portfolio and holdings. Uh, if this this side went up a lot over 2020, 2021, and even 2022, I got to start balancing it with the physical metals. And the physical metals are down, so I'm buying more physical metals 
and I'm picking up stuff that's down, like sh like shipping and stuff like that. And if you're interested in what I'm exactly buying, the companies and all that stuff, I share it on my website, the Finding Value website in the description link below. Platinum membership gets gets you everything, the access to everything of what I am specifically purchasing uh, at that time. I also do videos on what uh, I think looks good in the short term and what I would be buying. And I think we're we're getting close to those buy points, guys. We're getting there. It's just going to take some time. Be patient and let this momentum kind of fizzle out. And then once we start to see it come back up, that's that's when I start getting excited. All right, guys, thumb up for the content. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the website if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.